Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use inverse kinematics with active ragdolls. These are kind of like the ones you see in Carlson by Danny. The first thing you'll need is a rigged model from Blender or whatever modeling thing you use, but it should be rigged and ready to go. And the next thing is uh, you'll need my Unity package from GitHub and I'll put the link for this in the description. This will include all the procedural animation scripts except for one, and that's the inverse kinematic script. You can get the inverse kinematic script from someone else. Their name is Ditso Games on YouTube and they're the actual creator of the script. The next step is to create a ragdoll with your model. If you don't know how to do this, you should watch my older active ragdoll videos. But once you do, you can come back to this and we can get started. So far, I've put my ragdoll inside a uh, parent object I just renamed it Billy and this is where my ragdoll is and as you can see the hierarchy of the legs so like that and then outside of the ragdoll I have a left target right target homes and poles so what these are are targets for your inverse kinematics and the homes for your targets so basically when you're walking or when your character is walking, the targets will transition to these homes. And these homes will always be under the ragdoll and grounded to the ground using raycasts. So you can have a parent for the homes, and you put the right home under the right leg, and the left home under the left leg. And I forgot to mention, these are just empty game objects with a transform. The poles means um, the edge will kind of be redirected to towards the pole. Think about your elbow, think about like the knee or billy and uh, since it goes outwards you should put the poles on the outside and that's where the knees will kind of get redirected towards. But for a character like this where the knees kind of go this way, you'll put the poles in front of the knees on the actual model. Alright. Now for the next step. Now select the foot of your legs for your model. For example, inside my ragdoll I have two legs, which I can rotate. And inside I have the first bone, like this, the second bone, and then the foot. Select both of the feet and add the inverse kinematic script and the procedural animation script. For the inverse kinematic script, uh, if you get it from Ditzel Games, you won't see his leg or hips, but it's fine. And there may be some other options which you can keep at the default. But for Billy, I will enter these default values. So his leg is true. And I will put the hips right there. And put the corresponding target for the leg. So for now, I'll do my left, I mean my right leg. So I'll put the right target right here in the right pole right there and then for the procedural animation you kinda just fill out the same thing so just drag your hips drag the right home drag the right target is moving just keep it off for now the max step distance is the distance between the home and your target before the leg will move to the home so for now, I'll put that at 0.25, but depending on what you're trying to do, again, you'll have to kind of tinker around with these values. So I will put 0.25 for the speed as well, and for the height of the parabola that it will take. Um, basically, what I'm trying to say is that when your target's right there, and your leg's like that, and your home is right there, and your cube is right there, this highness will be the height of the parabola that it will take to get to the home. So I set it to 1.5 and the step overshoot fraction will be 3 and that's basically how much you want to overshoot the home to look like that the foot is in front of the ragdoll. Do ground yes because I want to ground my home so that they're always uh, grounded no matter what the elevation of the ground is or like the slope and stuff. So I will put the ground check dist at 2. And this is the distance before it stops grounding your home objects. Alright. So basically just do this for your other leg as well. So now select the root or hips of your ragdoll and add the billy controller. 
and the procedural legs controller. Again, this Billy controller will only work for this ragdoll character. So if you want to learn how to uh, control ragdolls in general, you can watch my older video. Now let's fill this out. So for the follow object, this is basically what Billy is going to follow around. So I, I will just set this to the hips of my player so that Billy will always follow me. And now I will just put the procedural legs here. Is a live ground check is it's basically the height before it goes limp or dies. And the upper ground check is going to be 0.4 and the lower ground check is going to be 0.3. These two values is basically what Billy is going to bob around between. So Billy will kind of go up and down between 0.3 and 0.4. And that's basically him bouncing around. The speed of Billy will be 0.45. The impact force threshold is 7. And CJs are basically all the configurable joints of your ragdoll. So I have 4 on Billy. So I'll just add... I'll just add all of these. So we have bone one, bone two, and then for the left one, like that. And then the CF force will be 45. This is the force Billy will use to bob up and down. So basically when Billy reaches a height of 0.3, a force of 45 will be applied upwards to get Billy back to the height of 0.4. Rotation force will be 25. This is the force that it will use to rotate towards your follow object. The rotation balance force is a force to balance Billy. So 15 is good for this size. And the in air force is 15. And that's basically when Billy's in the air, we apply a little force so that he doesn't fall too fast. Now for the procedural legs controller, this is pretty straightforward. You just put your home's parent, your pole's parent. If you want to alternate legs or not, Billy doesn't, so we will leave that unchecked. And then these are basically what we gave to the legs, I mean the feet, so you can just drag that. And then you can drag that. And then that should be good. So if we press play, All right, technical difficulties. I think I inversed left and right, but whatever, it's fine now. So I think if you press play, as you can see, it is Billy. So nice. So this entire process can be repeated with a different character. For example, this player character. So, but the only difference is for my hips, I have a different controller for the player. So instead of Billy controller, I have player controller. And again, if you want to make your own controller, you can watch my older videos on how to control ragdolls. It's basically just applying forces to make your ragdoll go in a certain way and using torque to rotate. All right, so that is going to be it for this video. So thank you so much for watching and bye.